Today topic is uh, Kirchhoff equations. So here today we are discuss about the what is mean by Kirchhoff equation, what are the applications of the Kirchhoff equation, when we have to use the Kirchhoff equations. So Kirchhoff equations, uh, two different type of the enthalpies are provided. When the enthalpy is change is happened with the two different temperature. When the one temperature is given, when they are asking the calculate the final temperature, that time we can use. The, this Kirchhoff equation we can useful for the calculation of the enthalpies with associated with the temperature. So here consider a one equations uh, one chemical reactions at a constant pressure. Consider a chemical reaction at a constant pressure we have to calculate the enthalpy change at a constant pressure. So constant pressure our condition is at a constant pressure change in enthalpy at a constant pressure is equal to the difference of the enthalpy changing of a product minus enthalpy changing of a reactant. If this P is nothing but the at a constant pressure. So this, this equation differentiate the above equations. So you will get differentiate the above equation with respect to the temperature T with respect to the differentiate the equation with respect to the temperature T. So you will get at a constant pressure. Just we are not we are doing nothing. Just we consider the one equation, one chemical equation we have taken. That a chemical equation we are doing the difference of the heat enthalpy changes at a constant pressure we are taking at a constant pressure that we have taken as a delta H. Delta H is equal to the difference of the change in enthalpy is nothing but the enthalpy of the product enthalpy of the reactant at a constant pressure that is the first step second step is differentiate the this equation with the temperature t you have to do at a constant pressure that is the that is the step so now is equal to delta h p by delta t at a constant pressure delta h of a reactant Enthalpy change of a reactant differentiating with the temperature T at a constant pressure. So first we have taken the enthalpy uh, reactions we have taken the difference enthalpy change. Second step is differentiating the whole the equation with the dt temperature t you have taken. So here now you can write this equation like this delta h at a constant pressure d delta h at a constant pressure is equal to So this is nothing but what molar heat capacity or molar heat uh, enthalpy change at a constant pressure that you can write in place of the delta H you can write the molar heat capacity at a constant pressure of a product minus molar heat capacity of a reactant is nothing but this is nothing but product molar heat capacity of the product molar heat capacity of the reactant that you can write d c v c v delta c v so delta h p this you can write at the c v d t we have to write the final. so first we have done the differentiating the equation after differentiating the equation we are converted into the molar heat form we converted into the molar heat form then now what we have to do so integrate the these equations with the respective of the temper t2 minus t2 with t1 and temp between the t1 and t2 first we have done the differentiation second we have to do integration we have to do in between the values of t2 and t1 you have to do so now whenever your integration will t2 T1 delta H D delta H is equal delta C V T2 T1 DT. Integration plot is done. Later, what we have to do now just to write the integration after doing the integration. Now you can write delta H this equation. How can you write this equation? Delta H T2 minus delta H T1. This part is completed. This part, how can you write? Delta C V is equal T2 minus T1. So, if you want uh, C P. So, we are talking about the heat change and enthalpy 
at a constant pressure that's why take this value this side delta cp is equal delta h t2 minus delta h t1 by t2 by t2 minus t1 so this is the heat change in enthalpy or enthalpy changing at a constant pressure whenever the two temperatures are provided this equation is helpful for us to calculate the enthalpy change associated with the temperature one temperature is known another temperature is we don't know that time we, we, we can easily provide it when they are providing the temperature t1 we can easily calculate the temperature t2 by using this equation so at constant volume this equation you can write constant volume is nothing but the that we'll call as internal energy delta cv is equal that you can write delta u internal energy changes t2 minus delta internal energy change with respect to of the initial temperature difference of the initial temperature and final temperature so these two equations are useful to calculate the enthalpy change enthalpy change when the two different temperatures are given this equation is useful internal energy at a constant volume in two temperatures are given so here the heat change in enthalpy the heat change in the enthalpy change in for a degree change in temperature is equal to the enthalpy changing of the product minus enthalpy changing of the reactant this is called as a crick of 